on? Is this on? Excellent. There. I know you're tired, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm at CERN. God damn it. I kind of went berserk in the gift shop, as you can see. <laughs> yes. I bought everything. There's nothing left there. Yes. And I have Swiss francs now. <laughs> it's really exciting because now I can pay fines in the Tour de France. <laughs> Might come in handy someday, yes. Yes, as you notice, I'm very excited to be at CERN. I love CERN. It's, uh, it's the most famous experiment of the European Union. Apart from Greece, of course. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> yes, well, yes. But... <clears throat> I love this place. I love it. Because I'm a physicist. Yes. Yeah, as you noticed, I have a small note here with my set written out. I don't usually do this, but it was very hard to try out this set. You know, I called my agent and said, I need five tryouts in subatomical investigation environments. <laughs> and he couldn't do it. I fired him, of course. Yes. But I'm a physicist. Where are the physicists? Physicists are uh, <laughs> sons and daughters of the light, as my professor used to call us, yes. Any, any chemists? Chemists here? Chemists? Oh, yeah. Yes, well, yes. <laughs> Welcome to the chemists and, well, congratulations for trying. You know, this, yeah, they're, they're, they're almost physicists, you know, they are. Where are the mathematicians? <laughs> The higher elves of science. <laughs> yes, they are so logical, they are so exact. I, I heard a very nice joke about mathematicians the other day. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell, tell the mathematician. Well, there's two mathematicians jokes, you know. I heard them from, from a friend. One is, uh, I, I, called, I called the Department of Mathematicians of my university the other day, and there was a voice saying, we are really sorry, the number you have dialed is imaginary. <laughs> yes, and then it said, Please, please tilt your telephone 90 degrees and try again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I was going to tell a mathematician's joke. So, there's a sociologist, right? A sociologist and a physicist and a mathematician, and they're traveling to Scotland. Now, as you all know, in, um, in physics, we look for an order of magnitude, and we can abbreviate and, you know, do the back of the envelope thing. In maths, they don't. They are very, 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 very exact. Now, a physicist, a sociologist, and a mathematician are traveling to Scotland, and they're landing there in, in Scotland. They're, they're taking their first walk in Scotland, and they see two black sheep standing there in a meadow. Can I say meadow? What do you usually say? Where's meadow a medieval word? No? In, in the prairie. <laughs> on, the, on the grass field. I'll stick with meadow. So. They walk, they see two black sheep in a meadow, and the sociologist looks at them and says, well, I've just arrived in Scotland, I've only seen two sheep here, and they were both black, so I can conclude that all the sheep in Scotland are black, because that's how sociology works. <laughs> now, it's a good thing that there's a physicist standing next to him, and he says, well, I think we should look for maybe a safer conclusion. I think it's safer to conclude there are black sheep in Scotland. That's just safe, you know. We're not making any mistakes. And then the mathematician is looking at him with, well, what we call the math look, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, not agreeing. That's, uh, that's yeah, the disagreeable math look. Like, like. So he looks in his agenda, he looks at his watch, and then he looks in the distance and he says, at February 2nd, 1999, at quarter past two, there were in this meadow in Scotland two sheep who were black at at least one side. <laughs> they like to be exact, <laughs> is what I say, yes. I told this joke at, at, uh, at uh, my university, and after the show, a mathematician came up to me and said, Oh, Mr. Schere, do you think a mathematician would come to a conclusion based on visual information? <laughs> um, yeah. 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 This really happened, yeah. He had a, a disagreeing math look in his eyes, uh, by the way, yes. I, I had some exams in the maths department and I was walking next to a professor. This really happened too. I was walking next to a professor after an, 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 or, an oral exam and we paused by the toilets. And I said, Professor, toilets 
in the math department. Isn't this just too earthly for you? <laughs> yes, I really did. Uh, but I was lucky. It was a, 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 a professor with a sense of humor. He looked at me and said, Mr. Schiede, these toilets are for the students. We like to abstract these things. <laughs> and, yeah, and then he walked on, yeah. I didn't pass the exam anyway, so yeah, <laughs> it's a bad luck. 